So, something a little different today on my photograph and teardown bench. And taking a look at this Gator Frameworks camera mount mic stand adapter with ball and socket head that I bought. I paid $11 for this. And the plan is to mount it on this little uh, portable boom arm mic stand. Oops, there we go. So I couldn't figure out how to take this off. I think it might be permanently stuck on, uh, like a press fit by the factory, because, I mean, I've spun this for <laughs> multiple rotations and it hasn't changed. So I unfortunately have to take this off, it seems. But I still have a spot where I can thread this onto my tripod stand. One thing that surprised me is this appears to be made out of solid metal, which I was not expecting for the price, to be honest. I mean, I'm guessing it's not great metal, but it's still made out of metal. <laughs> and I guess just in case people want to see the packaging, I don't know if I bought this from B&H. They probably have photos of the packaging. Of course, it's all shiny, so the glare is no problem. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. One thing I found kind of funny about this packaging is, um, it feels like uh, it feels like it's like an old vintage product that's been sitting on the shelf for a while. <laughs> Even though I don't think that's the case, and honestly, I don't really care. It just it was just one of the things that I've noticed. So here it is. It's currently loose. So it's a little floppy. It has some side slots, so you can. Uh, Get a guaranteed angle if you want, or just kind of whatever angle works. Nice thumb screw with, uh, almost feels rubberized. Yeah, there's a rubberized coating over the plastic. Doesn't seem to take too much to lock it into place. Oop. Might not have cranked it down enough. It might not be as solid as I would like. Looks like I got a metal plate with a piece of rubber on it. And a nice thumb screw for your quarter twenty camera mount, which is also metal. Let's see if it's uh, magnetic. All right, so this is made out of steel. This whole assembly. I was wondering if it would potentially be uh, like zinc die cast or cast aluminum, but it's actually steel, so I guess not cheap at all. <laughs> so. Maybe we'll angle the camera up since, uh, oh my, it's really up there. That's going to be easier to adjust the camera than it is to stand since it's all locked into place. And we'll just uh, thread this on. Thread's on nice, so that's obviously good. Um, Get that nice and tight, and then I'm going to rotate the arm, boom arm, the way I want it. One problem I'm seeing I'm going to have is the angle, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. What I might do, so like, I could buy probably another extension that's adjustable like this, but what I might do is just 3D print. Um, some bits. I'll probably 3D print some GoPro adapters so I can get a good straight down shot rather than having to figure out how to get this at a level angle because it's just basically it's going to match whatever angle the tripod's at or not the tripod the uh, boom arm. I might be able to rotate this. Whoops. Oh probably damaging my arm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, scratching it a little. Oh well. Might be able to figure out a way to rotate this to... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'll end up 3D printing something. So I can get the uh, correct angle for what I want. Now the real question is... I'm going to crank this down nice and tight. Oh. 
how is it going to work with the camera? I'm going to turn it off. It doesn't need to be on right now. Obviously, it's standard quarter 20 thread. But I'm curious to see if it'll hold on nice. <laughs> it's a lot more weight than the counterweight's rated for. The camera is spinning on the screw. I I would guess this is probably a lot more weight than this is designed for. I don't know if it says or not even. Mm -hmm. Should probably be. It says six pound weight capacity, which is interesting. Um, the screws in. Well, I guess it has a little bit more room. It doesn't help too that the lens is hanging out beyond, so that's probably not a fair. Let's see here. Oh, this is getting tricky. Yeah, loosen it so I can spin around. So we'll uh, give it a little bit more of a fair test so the lens is in line with the uh, boom arm. Oh boy. It's a little more weight than the boom arm can handle. <laughs> I only have one counterweight on it. I probably would have to put another in. I don't know if the uh, metal tubing is quite strong enough either. It seems like it's holding the place. The thing I'm watching for is to see if the ball joint is going to rotate. And it seems to be able to handle that. What the real plan for this is, though, take my camera off before something goes nuts, is I want to be able to use this for my cell phone mount. But uh, not this one, because this one's broken, because I would knock my tripod over. <laughs> but what I want to do is put my cell phone mount in here. And then I want to use this for top-down shots. So I think a uh, couple ounce phone should be plenty fine because the counterweight on the other end probably weighs like four pounds. And uh, yeah, this is going to be how I do my top-down shots. Um, I may also use a GoPro in this. The problem with the GoPro is it's going to be a lot harder to zoom. But it may actually have better image quality than my phone does. So that's something I'm thinking about. If I use the GoPro, what I'll probably do... Hmm. I'll probably, what I'll probably do is record in 4K, edit it, and manually zoom in. I don't like the idea just because it's going to be a lot of work and I don't get a lot of views on my teardown videos. But um, it is one of the options I'm kind of kicking around. But, I mean, I would say first impression, this is worth $11. I mean, who doesn't like adapters? <laughs> um, yeah. And I think I have some other, like, mic stand stuff that I could probably use that with. I have some old, like, um, mic stands for, like, old Sony mics that, like, uh, like you'd see at a conference or whatever on a podium. So I might be able to use them for something interesting. I don't know what. But uh, yeah, I would say, you know, for the money, I mean, $11 isn't bad. It's made out of all steel. So, I mean, can't go wrong there. Um, I would just say, depending on your use case, you may need to be conscious about the weight of your item that you're attaching to it. I think if you crank down the uh, locking nut, or bolt, or whatever, down hard enough. I don't think you'll have to worry about the thing shifting. But, I mean, any weight on this puts a lot of flex. Basically, because it's just a giant lever. I mean, this post is probably, I don't know, a good four foot long. So, um, yeah, I'm guessing by the time you get to the end of the post for the boom, boom mic, um, you're probably exerting a few times more force than what the actual weight of the item is. But hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.